let's talk about pivot point well this is the point about which a vessel turns so what we are going to discuss here is the approximate location of pivot point because we should have some idea where is the pivot point uh, we don't need to know the exact location of pivot point say in this case when the vessel is at even keel and stopped the approximate location of pivot point is very close to longitudinal center of gravity or very close to a midship say here now as the vessel starts making headway the bow is going to strike the waves so the pivot point is about approximately around l by 8 so pivot point is somewhere here and as the vessel gains a speed or momentum it settles around l by 4 so this distance is l by 4 the shifting of uh, pivot point takes place because of the longitudinal resistance and the forward momentum of ship Now, as the vessel starts making a stern way, say uh, the in this case a stern is going to strike the wave. Well, the explanation is same. The pivot point is somewhere here, which is L by 8. And as the vessel gathers momentum, the pivot point is going to shift a little forward and is going to be at L by 4. The only thing is the situation is reverse here and because of the stern wave momentum of the ship and longitudinal resistance we have a shifting of pivot point like this well this is the concept and we need to know the concept while applying the principle of ship handling now something very interesting if the vessel is stopped and the tug is pushing the pivot point will not be amidship so uh, this is the vessel and the tug is start pushing from forward then pivot point is going to be somewhere aft similarly if the tug is start pushing aft the pivot point is going to be somewhere forward now let's talk about vessel at anchor so the pivot point will be at the anchor point now let us discuss the effect of trim and list on pivot point so in case towards head the pivot point will shift towards bow and if it is hit by stern the pivot point will shift towards stern obviously it has to move towards the trimmed side similarly if the vessel is listed then pivot point shifts towards the listed side now let us discuss about right handed propeller or RHP right handed propeller is the propeller which turns clockwise which turns clockwise while moving ahead okay we also need to know what is fixed pitch the pitch is the distance moved by a propeller in one complete revolution so in fixed pitch propeller the blades are fixed then we have uh, a fixed pitch propeller so most of the ships 99% of the merchant ship I would say they are right handed and fixed pitch propeller so now let us uh, study uh, some forces which act on the propeller so suppose this is the water surface and these are the two blades just for sake of convenience I am showing here only two blades and this propeller is turning in clockwise direction so the upper blade will experience less resistance why because the water tends to break up on the upper side and it causes uh, some aeration now the lower blade will experience more resistance because uh, the aeration will be less at greater depth now propeller is turning so there will be a force say f with force f this tangential force and here also this force f but since uh, resistance is less on the upper blade so here we have r1 and here 
on the lower blade the resistance is going to be R2 and we know it very well that R2 is greater than R1. Why? Because the resistance at lower blade will be more. So, what happens? These force get cancelled. This F and this F that can cancel. I have the resultant force R is equal to R2 minus R1. Can you guess what will be the direction? Because this R2 is in this direction and the right hand side then definitely the resultant will be somewhere here. Well, it can be shown with this arrow. Let's define this. This is called transverse thrust. And what is transfer thrust? It is actually a third shape component of water force acting on the propeller blades. Well, we need to study the effect of transfer thrust while moving ahead or astern. The effect on the propeller blade can be understood by the simple wheeling effect because the propeller is going to behave as a wheel. Suppose this wheel is broken from the shaft. What happens? If it is moving in the clockwise direction, the wheel is going to fly in the right direction. Right? So, similarly, uh, here we have shown that the resultant uh, force will act in this right direction. So, as the vessel is moving ahead, pivot point is forward and there is a transfer thrust acting on the right direction that is on the starboard side of the ship. So, what will happen? This will turn the ship towards, turn the bow towards port side. So, we can have a thumb rule here that while moving ahead, bow will cant, cant means turn, to port for right handed propeller for moving astern. So, as the move vessel is moving astern, the propeller is turning anti-clockwise. That means the wheeling effect or transverse force, transfer thrust is going to act on the left hand side or the port side. So, as the vessel is moving astern, the pivot point is aft. So, the transfer thrust is acting on the port side, the bow will tend to starboard. So, we can say while moving astern, the bow will tend to starboard for right-handed propeller.